Um, this is the extension and it's called voice control for ChatGPT. So like, let's say you wanted this, you would go here for ChatGPT Chrome extension. And then you would, looks like we've got two different ones here and there's all kinds of scams on the, you know, Chrome extension store, Google Play store, probably Apple store, all over the place. So you wanna be very mindful of the links you're clicking and um, if you're click, clicking the right, correct one. So I think I saw one that was like, maybe not a scam, but it's just not what I was looking for, um, but I had the same exact name. So when you're looking for this, if you're trying to get the same one that I'm using and testing it and do so at your own risk, I'm not saying these are, this has relatively strong ratings, um, quite a few people using it, um, but you want to limit like which, what it can see, like this, the way I have it set up is it can see, I have it set up just to read data on openai.com, um, like when I'm using ChatGPT. So this is it. Um, it's like this green logo. Make sure you see this if you're going to pick the same one that I'm using. And we're going to go back to the app. And this is why I like it. There's a couple of different ones. The, the previous one I used didn't have, it didn't do read aloud, which is when it will read the answer. So for example, say, make me a blog article. Let's see how this goes. To help you with creating a blog article. Okay, so you see that. Maybe you heard it in my mic, but it played through my speakers. That's how I set up at the exact moment. But it can read aloud. You can control the speed at which it um, speaks. Pretty sure that's right here. Yep. Um, and there's like another, like you can set up me yeah, as like your assistant. I didn't do that. I don't need all that. But you can make it faster or slower. And I think as different personality customizations, honestly, I don't use it that that aspect that much, but I think it's kind of cool if you want, it just cut, it adds a lot of time to what you're doing. If you're gonna have to sit there and listen to it, you, you can read, most people generally can read much faster than they would be able to hear, but I understand there's situations in which you would prefer the speech. So that's super useful. And there's two ways that you use it once you've got it installed, like for download the Chrome extension, get it installed, pin it up the top. Really don't need to pin it once you have it installed, but if you've got the speaker on, that means it's going to read aloud the text. If you have it off, it's not going to read aloud the text. That's how I currently have it. And then you've got two ways to um, activate the speech control. And I'm just going to show you a couple more examples just to kind of prove the point that this is a pretty solid voice transcriber. So tell me why you are so good at transcribing audio voice control for ChatGPT. <laughs> um, let's try that again. I may have not said that very clearly. Tell me why you are so good at transcribing audio voice control for chat GPT Chrome extension. In parentheses, act like you are the voice control Chrome extension when you are writing your answer to this prompt. That was pretty good. So obviously ChatGPT is being kind of boring and saying it doesn't interact. With, it's probably being safe and saying it's not a Chrome extension. But if you want to, this is, I guess, a ChatGPT tip. You can act uh, get it to act theoretically. This is just for uh, the purpose of a funny video. So, and this is another opportunity to show you guys something. Um, so in this case, you can just, instead of having to click each time, um, let's say you want to sit back, hold space bar. So, I was just wanting you to act like this, that you were a Chrome extension for ChatGPT named, like I said in my earlier prompt, I didn't want you to interact with a Chrome extension. This is for a funny video scene. 
So please humor me and do this for the hypothetical situation. Do you understand? Awesome. Did, did a pretty good job, you know. Um, and one thing to note, like, if you're doing things that need exact, like, you're, I don't know if you're doing, which I don't recommend this, doing math on ChatGPT where you're having to write very specific instructions, a lot of times you may not want to use speech, though many are very good. Maybe you could work with something that's already trained on the way you speak. Um basically an optimized, like maybe it pairs with software or it's like your assistant that you've already trained on the way you talk that really understands the way you speak. Maybe you could use some, then in that situation, it becomes more and more um, efficient to speak, even in highly technical um, conversations with ChatGPT or AI programs. But in general, I recommend using it whenever it's more free flowing speech. You're not having to have very exact words. Cause for example, I put, stupid or like it, it, it heard that I said stupid um, when I didn't though this is still pretty good and ChatGPT got the gist of what I was wanting a lot of times it will just understand you made an error if something doesn't compute it just kind of takes the general purpose or yeah the general theme of what you're saying and then does it which it did in this case but I think that's super useful I like interacting with ChatGPT being able to talk to it and open up my a different way to interact and develop ideas when I'm brainstorming or researching with ChatGPT. So hope that helps. Got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Stay tuned for the next video and let us know any video ideas you want us to cover. We're all ears for that. It could be how to do freelance work remotely, um, whether it's marketing specialist type work, uh, online advertising, or um, if you want a specific technical video on how to do a, um, you know, how to work with HubSpot um, or Google Analytics, we can make those as well. But hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.